In the past, I've gotten emails from new users of InDesign that were completely freaking out that they were working with an image, let's say in Photoshop, a high quality image, and then they were importing it here in InDesign only to find that it was really choppy. Well, that's because InDesign contains uh, what's called display performance, and it's called display performance because it seriously has an effect on the performance of your machine. And there are three levels of your display performance. There's fast display, and if we come up to the view menu and go up to display performance and select fast display, we'll see that it removes the images from our document. Now, her document will still print with the images, but for the sake of performance and navigating and zooming in and out of our document, we can do that much faster without the images loaded. Why anybody would want to do that is really a mystery. You would have to be using something out of the Ice Ages or Dinosaur Ages to really use this mode. And here at CB Richard Ellis, if you're at this point where you have to use this mode, highly recommend you talk to IT about getting a new PC. Okay, so the second option that we have is typical display. And typical display is kind of the medium between fast display and high, res high resolution display. The only problem with this is that our images get real pixelated. So I'm going to hit control spacebar to temporarily access my zoom tool. And I'm going to click and drag around our second image here and zoom into it so you can see what I'm talking about. Now if we take a look at the outer edge of this image we can see that it's really pixelated and this is a typical display. This is really good if you're working in a large document like this offering memorandum where you might have a typical 20 to 40 pages and if you're using a lot of graphics and images in that document well that's going to have an effect on the amount of RAM and resources you're using in your computer so the more images the more pages the more resources it wants to use the slower it's going to get so if you have a medium ochre machine, this is probably your typical display that you want to use. Now, even though they're pixelated here in InDesign, when you go to print them, they should be nice and crisp, high resolution images like you brought in to InDesign in the first place. Now, if I want to view these images in high quality display, now that cleans up our image quite a bit. And if I hit Control Alt Spacebar, or actually Control One to zoom out to our normal view, then we can see we have nice crisp images here in InDesign. But then again, remember when you get up to a document that has 20 to 40 pages and your computer is really struggling, it's a good idea to drop down this resolution, and that affects every image uh, and graphic throughout this this document. Now what if I'm working in a typical display, and I'll come back up to our view menu, display performance, hit typical display, but I've imported an image and I just want to see what the high resolution display of that image is while it's in here. Well if I select it, right click and choose display performance, we can see I still have the fast typical and high quality display but by default it's using the view settings that we chosen from the view menu but if I select high quality display here for that image it's going to go ahead and switch it over for me until I chose or choose to come down and choose to use the default display so when we talk about display performance and how our computer is working in large documents, there's just one of the ways that we can help increase performance or uh, the quality of our images here in InDesign.